Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Alex Straza Patch Day, which included a talent rework for one of my favorite supports in the game for quite a long time, and that has been Lily, who for the longest time was looked upon as. Ah, uh, she's only meant for brand new players to introduce what being a healer is like. She's not really that good. She's not a good solo support healer. Uh, she's only meant... She's a she's a, a bicycle with training wheels, basically. And it just always bothered me because I always had a, you know, had a lot of fun and a lot of great games uh, in Hero League healing just as Lili as the solo healer. I was able to get a lot of games where I had 100,000 healing with Lili, and I always thought she was very underestimated, and people always put a lot of, um, uh, gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, emphasis, there we go, emphasis on her damage, especially her blinding wind. They're like, oh, she's only meant to go be a damage support, you know, be able to do lots of damage with her blinding winds and then you go water dragon to be able to do damage and apply a slow that's all she's really good for you don't really pick her to be a solo healer and i used to disagree quite often so she has a rework now which i'm hoping is going to put an end to that discussion and make her more of a viable choice as a solo healer however i think we are on the verge of shifting to a meta where we are going to get a lot of double supports many believe that double support is one of the strongest compositions in this game so we may be seeing her as part of a lot of double support comps even though what i want is for her to be strong enough to be a solo support but if that's the meta way the meta is shifting then so be it so, what has changed about Lily in this rework? Um, I believe this is kind of the same healing brew. Uh, I Oh, they implemented that the Cloud Serpent will now heal. They added that into her base kit. So, now it just will always heal uh, the ally for 14. Um, although, obviously, that's going to scale as you level up. But... It used to be you had to pick a talent for Cloud Serpent to heal whenever you put them on an ally. Now that's just been added in. Blinding Wind, I believe, got nerfed, um, which I'm sure a lot of people are like, Oh no, she's unplayable now. Blinding Wind was the only good thing about her, which I still disagree with. Um, fast Feet uh, got changed a bit. Uh, basic ability cooldowns now refresh 50% faster and gain movement speed. So now she has a ability cooldown reduction with her fast feet of trait, which I think is pretty cool. And there's also a way to enhance that. Jug of a Thousand... Now, Water Dragon, I believe, is still exactly the same as it was before, I think. But Jug of a Thousand Cups got changed. Listen to this. Look at this. 80 mana, 20 second cooldown. Channel for up to 6 seconds. Every point twenty five seconds. Heal the lowest health nearby allied hero for 6-6 six, six health. Increase the cooldown of Jug of a Thousand Cups by 2 seconds up to 50. That means if she activates it and she is immediately stunned out of it, she doesn't get the full cooldown. She'll get like the tw like only a 20 or 19 second cooldown, I think, or 20 or 21 seconds, something like that. You'll have a short cooldown if you get stunned out of it. Which means... Only if you get the full alt off for the full duration will you get the full cooldown. Which is huge because people used to always say that she was not good because you could easily stun her out of her alt and then you would have to wait the whole entire duration. So I think this is a very interesting but good change to help make it where even if she does get stunned out of it, she can be able to do it a little bit more often uh, than usual. I'm curious, though, if the mana cost stays the same. Obviously, I'll have to experiment with that. Uh, she has, a obviously, a different talent tree now. Free drinks. The healing brew's cooldown is reduced by one second, and its mana cost is reduced if it heals a hero that's under 50% health. Very interesting emphasis there. Uh, Wind Serpent, each hero hit by playing wind reduces the cooldown of the Cloud Serpent, so you can use that more often. Eager Adventurer. Now, I always used to like taking Conjurer's Pursuit. That's pretty much been being worked out of the game. Uh, unless, of course, it's a special one for that particular hero. Instead, they put an Eager Adventurer here, which increases fast speed's duration 
by 50% and increases mana regeneration by 150% while fast speed is active. That is fantastic. That's huge. To make it where it goes longer and be able to... That's how you can make up for your mana regen now. Uh, level f 4. Cloud Serpent's duration is increased every time it attacks a hero. Blinding Wind slows enemy here in movement speed. I used to take this, but it was like at 13. To add a slow to help out my teammates uh, catch uh, enemy heroes. You can activate your fast speed for 2 seconds and increase the movement speed bonus to 30% while it's active. That can be very interesting to utilize. Level 7, the good stuff. Healing Brew heals for additional for you over 3 seconds. I used to like getting this to help with the heal over time aspect. Make her somewhat like Malfurion. Lightning Serpent, Cloud Serpent attacks bounce to hit 2 additional heroes. 50% damage and healing. But look at this. She now has her own unique cleanse. Now some people used to forget that Lily actually had a cleanse. Because apparently no one ever bothered to check if she did. I remember I would pick Lily and there and someone would say, Oh, we need you to pick a healer here that has a cleanse. I went, um, Lily does have a cleanse. And they went, Really? And I'm like, Yes. Well now she has her own unique cleanse. Let's look at this. It's called Let's Go. It has a 40 second cooldown. Activate to heal an allied hero and make them unstoppable so now this one not only makes them unstoppable but it also gives them a bit of a heal that is fantastic that's one of the best cleanses in the game you know and it's only got a 40 second cooldown that is fantastic level 10 well you know whenever the alts level 13 a lot of the uh, blinding wind uh, towns here increase the duration by one second uh leave these basic tasks and blind heroes deal Increased damage. <laughs> uh, there's the spell power, Surging Winds. Increase the number of enemies hit by Blinding Wind from 2 to 3. Deals 75% of the damage if all three heroes hit our heroes. Huh. Interesting. Uh, level 16. Increase the number of allies healed by Healing Brew to 2, but increase the cooldown by 1 second. Pick me up. Healing Brew's healing for heroes is increased by 30% if they are under 50% health. That sounds good. And increase Cloud Serpent's healing if it it's bare for 1.5% of their maximum health each time it attacks. So if you got a lot of high health heroes, that can be a good choice to take. At level 20, we have Jug of a Million Cups, where it heals two owls at a time. Double Dragon, still there. This is a new one, Mist Weaver. 30 second cooldown, activate to heal nearby allied heroes for 165. Basic attacks and Cloud Serpent attacks reduce the cooldown by 1% second that so i guess it's kind of like a storm shield somewhat except it heals instead of it gives a shield <laughs> and you can be able to wow that sounds very strong gain eight armor per second while fast feet is active up to 30 armor so let's just say i'm very excited about this new lily and i am really hoping that this is going to make lily a more viable choice because I love playing Lily. You can see she's my third highest leveled hero at 38. I love Lily. So I'm very happy that she finally got a rework and I'm very excited. So let's check her out in action. Ready for adventure. I'm ready to. Ooh, and get to do on one of my favorite maps, Infernal Shrines. friend <laughs> are you kidding me let's go already <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh because i used to always take conjurer's pursuit to help her mana regen because it used to be my plan in. was take conjurer's pursuit increase her mana regen and then you take kung fu hustle at 20 so that way when you do her cooldown reduction on her abilities your mana can be able to keep up with it 
So I'm gonna go with Eager Adventurer to increase the duration of fast feet and help with the mana regen because, well, you know, mana regen is so important on a healer. If you have no mana, how are you gonna be able to be a healer? Oh, there we go. Blind on the Butcher. Alright, so yeah. Friendly team. Lily, Probius, Johanna, Kerrigan, and Asmodan versus Brightwing, Anubarak, Greymane, Zagara, and the Butcher. So obviously, because we're going up against a Butcher, I'm going to uh, definitely be able to uh, get a lot of value out of Blinding Wind. And there we go. Butcher goes down. So I'll have to take a look at which Blinding Wind talents I'd want to use against this Butcher here. I do have a Joanna and a Asmodan, so that, uh, that talent that emphasizes, uh, the healing based on maximum health could be pretty beneficial here. Put the, uh, Serpent on me to help me out. Go Sippy Cup. By the way, I like that, uh... Look at this. This is what I like about these skins. This indicator around her, you see that? That indicates that my brew will go to me. That will change based on who uh, it thinks the brew should go to. Like, look, now it's around Johanna. That is a great visual indicator to, for me to get a better idea of who I'm going to be uh, healing with my Q. It used to be very difficult to make sure you were able to be clear on who it is that you were healing. Now, I have a much better idea. Where are you going? Right, we can get back here. Go. Get this great man. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's do Serpent Side Click. Hang on, Asmodan. I will try and heal you. Same with you, Johanna. Oh, that that a new barack. God, your bright wing. Serpent on me, so I'm able to have it give me a bit more healing as well as increase its duration. Put that on Probius to help him do the objective. Put that on the Butcher to help take away his uh, basic attacks. Oh, that's a guard. Alright, let's go! Let's go already! Which, especially if that butcher takes. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and sippy cup here. Help out with my mana. If butcher was to take uh, Land of the Slaughter, that would help out as well. Get out of here, Brightwing. Him out. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And look at that. You see a little icon around the fast speed over here? That shows how long the duration is lasting for my uh, fast speed ability. 
all these visual indicators to help me uh, keep track of things such as whether or not I, my fast speed is up and helping my mana regen, or that circle to help me figure out who I'm going to be healing with my brutal blade. It's all these visual indicators on the uh, user interface that I am really liking. Alright, gonna go with the Junk of Thousand Cups and do this to try and help heal my Probius and keep him alive! There we go. Full, what? 70 second cooldown? That's all right. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, go ahead, Nei. Kill and keep on doing that if you want. Oh yeah, go ahead, Probius. <laughs> Do that if you want. Hang on, Kerrigan. I'm gonna heal you. Nope. Thanks. I needed that. Wouldn't. Couldn't get the AI to stay. They were like, "No, I'm out of here." Fine. Obviously, I can't use this cleanse on myself. So, if he uses it on me, I'll be in trouble. actually looking forward to them implementing the infinite ammo on the uh, structures. I think that's going to improve the game quite a bit, especially against uh, players that like to use GG's uh, siege tactics, like Abathurs putting their mines down, you know, other different tactics that they would utilize in order to do something like that. Oh, the wind didn't go after Butcher. I thought Blinding Wind was going to hit Butcher there. Nope. Didn't work. Alright, level 13. Hmm. A lot of people usually like to go with Surging Winds, but, uh... I think I would want to go with Gale Force here, especially against this Butcher. You're a meanie! Please dance. Here's my taunt. I'm healing you, Kerrigan. Hang on, Crobius. I will heal you. I will blind that gray mane. Oh. The bright wing saved him. <laughs> oh, look at that bonus damage I did. <laughs> Our Joanna is pushing the lane. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at that crit damage on that Anubarak. Oh, that crit damage was so good there. Oh, and that applies to anything that the blinding wind hits. I thought it, for some reason, I thought it applied only to heroes. No, it applies to uh, anything that the blinding wind hits. That's really good. Especially if you want to get some kind of crit damage on a... Uh, on the objective, like let's say maybe on Battlefield of Eternity on the Immortal. It's probably not gonna be that much, but. Alright. I'm leading it. <laughs> Uh, let's 
Meanwhile, Joanna and Butcher are just fighting each other in the bottom lane. Yeah, I'm gonna go because I'm not necessarily wanting the game to end just yet. If the AI wants to finish it, fine. Let him. Oh, hello, Butcher. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm gonna have some fun with Lily. <laughs> I love you so much right now. <laughs> I love you too, Lily. Silly Probius. Blizzcon banner. Hey Asma, why don't you go get that Merc camp in the bottom lane? Okay. I'm just an AI Asma dad, but I'll do that. nice when the AI will be like, okay, I'll do whatever you say. Oh, how nice that I got a Kerrigan in this match on Infernal Shrines, Kerrigan's best map. Asmodan can just push. Nothing stops. We got we have the Punisher the pushing top. We have that camp pushing bot. Hi, Zagara. Where are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Get back here. Look at this AI Brightwing. I'll save you. Oh, the blinding wind was enough to kill her. <laughs> Level 20. Let's see. Mistweaver. Boom. There we go. Oh, that's such a hard counter to Butcher. Already, I'm able to use it. Okay. Obviously, an AI game. Not many opportunities. A real. Obviously, I need to get in a quick match to really test the effectiveness. MVP. But I'm already liking it. I'm already liking the feel of this. Obviously, I think some 
changes at certain levels could be better. I think the uh, the activatable trait at level 4 might end up being a better choice to be able to activate it. I think that's, you know, but let's see here. I went with Eager Adventurer, Serpent Sidekick, Let's Go, Jug of a Thousand Cups, Gale Force, Pick Me Up, and Mistweaver. I'll bet Safety Sprint here to be able to activate to gain it for two seconds and increase the move speed to 30% while active. That could be a good way to make sure you get away or even to chase. <laughs> but let's face it, how many opportunities is Lily going to have to chase someone? Uh, 13 here. That seemed pretty nice, that crit damage, but I think some people will still go with Surging Winds. Gain spell power for 10 seconds, because I think, I think that spell power transfers to her other abilities, including her healing brew. I'm not entirely sure on that. And, you know, Blessings is also probably pretty good as well. I obviously didn't have any situations to test this one out. I think two for one is probably also really good too. Uh, because of the cooldown reduction, it may not be that big a deal. You know, because if it, you're going to be getting a lot of cooldown reduction, maybe being able to heal, you know, that with an extra cooldown or an extra second on the cooldown is probably not going to be that much of a detriment. So, obviously I can't really fully tell but i'm already liking this new lily i loved the previous lily but i think this one i'm gonna really like as well i'll have to see what the community decides is like the go-to build but i think there's a lot of variety here uh, in her builds i think there's a lot of variety in her uh talent tree here so I love that she has this let's go. This this feels kind of good to be able to give them a bit of an extra boost of health. I think that can make it very valuable. Though I do still like the good stuff. And the fact that while fast feed's active, it makes the healing amount increase by 100%. That's going to make her healing incredible. On paper, in theory. So, But I like this new Lily. And uh, that's pretty much it for this patch. And uh, I will see you guys when the Hanzo patch comes around, whenever that is. And I will see you guys then.